Hello YouTube, I'm David with the David West channel. Well today I wanted to show you all the different ways you can make fire with this Corona razor tooth folding saw. You can buy them at Lowe's for $20. And today we're going to try flint and steel, ferro rod, and bow drill. Now I have not dressed up these edges at all. They could be made into a much better, much sharper 90 degree edges to turn it into a great scraper for fat wood for ferro rod but this is just factory edges now that's ferro rod but let's start off with flint and steel got some shower cloth here and some of our flint that we sharpened up the other day using the bipolar percussion Lay it up on this edge right here. Now, let me show you the sparks coming off of that saw. Oh, I don't have my. I got my stove over on the stump. You probably see it at that angle. Since that took five strikes, let's try it again. Let's try. Let's try this piece of flint. We're getting better. All right, also wanted to try casting some sparks off of it down onto a piece of char cloth, which is another method, another good method. So let's try that.
That might have been a cheat right there. That might have been those coals igniting this one. All right. Let's go ahead and I thought I had my fat wood out here. Hold on. Well, we don't have to use our fat wood sticks. We can use this piece of fat wood here that you saw me harvest the other day. Let's go ahead and scrape some. I'm gonna get you closer, hold on. And I'll be scraping it near the hinge. Hope you can see that. all over the place but we'll just make do the best we can boy that smells good too Scrape fat wood and it'll scrape a ferro rod. Oh. So just imagine how good it would be if I did dress up those edges and make them 90 degrees. And the last one I want to show you. Is going to be bow drill. Now, how am I going to bow drill with with this Corona saw? I'm going to use this lanyard right here for a bow string. That's the only part of the saw that I'm using. Yeah, I consider it a part of the saw. There we go. Now, I'll probably do this in double speed. But I just take, and if there's a faster way, I'm sure somebody will tell me. But I just take, you see all of those horizontals right there? I just keep pulling those horizontals. We don't need all that height anymore. Let me lower you on down. This is called deploying the lanyard. But you guys see we have plenty for a good long bowstring. Now I could use it like a standard bowstring, but I'm not. I'm gonna use it with the hand uh, the handheld bowstring technique. make a knot stick it in this groove here let me show you I go through the loop twice just to have a little beefier knot stick it in here and then I wrap this excess around my around my hand right here this is called the handheld bowstring technique. That's the way we're going to attack it right there. And of course. 
course, we use a fat wood bearing block. Oh, and this is uh, American Beach, I believe. Yeah, this is American Beach. And I use the, I think I'll make a new divot right in the center right there. Let's set it up. I'll tighten up, hold on. Oh, I don't like a pointy, a pointy end on my spindle, but it wore a whole lot pointier than where we started, and we're at the end of that divot, so we're good. And let's try to get. We'll try to get the hobo stove in the frame too. All right, it worked out pretty good. All right, y'all. Let's not forget what we're showcasing here. Just a $20 little folding handsaw. The Corona, I believe it said Corona Razor Tooth. Corona, I believe it says Corona Razor Tooth Saw. $20 at Lowe's. So, you better go get you one. All right, y'all. Appreciate you joining me on this one. We'll catch you on the next one.